Barack Obama has had enough and is ramping up the pressure on Moscow. The new U.S. measures will hit key sectors of the Russian economy. We're blocking the exports of specific goods and technologies to the Russian energy sector. We're expanding our sanctions to more Russian banks and defense companies. And we're formally suspending credit that encourages exports to Russia and financing for economic development projects in Russia. At the same time, the European Union is joining us. The EU's plans also target the financial sector, affecting banks that are majority state-owned. The goal is to come down hard on Russia's powerful oligarchs and business sector. Under the new European sanctions, state-owned Russian banks will have their access to EU capital markets curtailed. Future arms deals with Russia will be sanctioned. EU companies will be barred from exporting technology for oil exploration and dual-use technologies that Russia's military could use. The sanctions don't target the natural gas sector, mostly because Europe depends on Russian gas to meet many of its energy needs. Russia's central bank said it would support the banks hit by the punitive measures, which include the country's second largest financial institution, the VTB.